Good. So Coach Walter said you really pleased with uh, the way the guys have been practicing the last three days. It's been good. You assess the quarterbacks the last few days. Yeah, they've been uh, they've been they've been good. They're, they're ready to play a different opponent again. Plus, they're sick of listening to my dumb ass. So I, they're ready to get going. You know, they're chomping at the bit. Go ahead. What was that conversation like over the weekend, uh, just in terms of discussing the depth chart? I know you were talking about last week. That conversation would be coming. Um, yeah, it, was, it wasn't It uh, was anything out of the normal, really, in terms of doing that. I had a good conversation with with Luke. And um, so, yeah, it was, it, was, it, was, it was easy. Easy. Not like last year's. It was a little goofy. Let me know. You, Mario, how, do, how do you manage arm fatigue, Adrian, just over the course of camp? And making, you know, do, you, do you chart his throws and try to? Yeah, we take track uh, we we take track of that in terms of how many reps he's getting all the quarterbacks, particularly through camp. And then I just make certain we make certain that he's in communication with us about you know if his, you know typically their arms aren't going to get sore; they'll get a little stale. Um, and then. Uh, Mark Meyer does a great job with that as well. Um, so if they're feeling a little fatigued, then yeah, let's let's back off and get his arm fresh for for the first game. Have you ever seen that where a guy comes into camp with kind of a dead arm thrown too much in the summer? That's one of my pet peeves. I'll kill them. They yeah. should never have sore arms. If they're doing their off-season quarterback workouts and all that stuff, they should. Now, like I said, their arms will get stale, but they really should have no hot spots uh, in their shoulder or their or their elbow. Yeah. And if it does, then, well, let's get taken care of, get some ice on it, get some rehab. How do you all do that during the summer? Pardon me? How do you manage that during the summer? Well, the total numbers of game tempo balls they threw during the week were somewhere around maybe 120, 200, which really wasn't as, as, as much as it typically can be. So there wasn't a lot of stress on their, on their uh, throwing motion this summer. I was thinking after looking at it going into this fall that maybe we just needed to do more rhythm work in the uh, in the summer. So we'll take a peek at that and see how that works out. What, what's, what's one thing that you'd like to see from Adrian in the opener that maybe you know the practices won't show you? What would you like to see from him when it's live? Well, I, you know, I, I, I don't know. Uh, I think the old adage, you're going to play like you practice. So as you've heard Coach Frost mention, you know, uh, let's let's go ahead and perform like we've been practicing. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Coach Frost men- mentioned there's oh, maybe one wow moment of a practice from Adrian. Would you say that's pretty accurate in your eyes too? Uh, doing his job, you know. It's not a big wow moment for me. <laughs> Just do your job. Um, obviously, he's a special cat and doing some things, but. You know, if we didn't work on those sorts of things, I would, you know, yeah, I'd be a little bit more surprised. But the fact of the matter is that we work on all those kind of crazy throws uh, pre-practice, during practice, after practice, that it's something that Coach Frost wants us to be able to do. And damn it, we're going to get it done. And we have to work on those things, you know. He expects that, so let's go. How long have you been working? How, how long did it take you to develop all those drills that, that work on the, on the move throws? Since uh, the late 70s. Yeah. Yeah, probably 78, 79 is when we started all that biomechanics sort of research and whatnot and all that motor behavior stuff. So it's been, it's been an ongoing, goofy process. Yeah. How, how, long, how long did it take to kind of refine the drills to the ones that you use right now today? Oh, probably within those uh, that those first five years. So I would say probably around '81. We were pretty clean in terms of how we got that done. Because you know, one of the adages is don't ever throw the ball down the middle late. Well, good grief, man! You're on the you're on the move and you're going to the sideline. You got a guy wide open. You, you know, as long as you have assurance. And, and so those mechanics are really important. One of the most famous on the move inside right throws was Joe Montana's throw to Dwight Clark, and that was something that Bill, they rehearsed, and you know, if it comes up, man, it's the difference between winning a game, winning a championship, or whatever it might be, you know, we've got to make sure we get that stuff rehearsed. That's pretty rare that you kind of are able to keep the same drills for, you know, that span of time. That's that's got to feel like no, 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 not really. When you think about it, you know, two plus two equals four. Right, two plus two is ten years from now, and eighty years 
before is going to be a different number, right? So the biomechanic aspect of that piece of it isn't going to change. The motor behavior research isn't going to change. So if you piece all that stuff together, you know exactly what the environment demands. Let's design our drills to accommodate what the research tells us. I know that sounds all really goofy and whatnot, but it's the fact of the matter. You know, it's how it's how it's supposed to work, really. How much different do you feel at this time this year with a quarterback who's played a whole year compared to compared to this time last year when you knew that you know it was going to be a new guy yeah. for the first time? Like my comfortability factor is, um, yeah, I, I feel more comfortable, but I'm still going to be on on pins and needles before the game. You know, I, I, I feel really good about what I think, how he's going to react, you know, from snap to snap. But I'll still be a little bit jittery about that. He won't be, obviously. You know, you guys have talked to Adrian, so nothing phases him. But I'll, I'll still be interested to see how he reacts to each different situation. Yeah, it didn't get comfortable for me with KZ until... Um, I think it might have been the championship game or the game against USM. But that's my plan. problem, not his. <laughs> you have a game plan for how many guys you ideally would like to see get in the game on Saturday? Uh, in terms of the quarterbacks? Yeah. Well, yeah, Coach Frost will, will take care of that. We've discussed a little bit of it in detail in terms of how that would work. But the most, frick, man, the most important for us thing for us is 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 to – it's just to be effective and efficient. And if we can be that as quarterbacks, we'll have a chance to win. And we've got to earn everything we've get. I, we get during the course of a game. You've heard Coach Frost talk about that. So I'm not thinking about how many guys we're going to play. I'm, I'm thinking about Adrian being effective and efficient for that game. And we'll, we'll let the chips fall where they may. You know, and if we're fortunate enough to get other guys in the game, hey, that's that's freaking awesome. You know, that that that's a plus. Do, do you like having the four game red shirt though, just as a possibility? Oh yeah, that that's that's tremendous because you get a young guy to to, to have some experience, and, and if you're fortunate to be in those sorts of games where he has an opportunity to play, yeah, that that's awesome. That's great. Um, without him having to burn his red shirt. Absolutely. Would you prefer to see those games at the beginning of the season, throughout the season, at the end of the season, or, or does it matter? Because of the rule uh, in my brain uh, and that it's new to us, uh, at this particular point in time, it doesn't, doesn't matter to me, really. No. Yeah. Thanks, Coach. Good.